Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. The seven and a half inch gauge railroad with seven and a quarter inch gauge equipment. The hulls freight all winter long. Today I'm playing with some brand new gauge bars here. They were supplied by Banta Model Works. And uh, they helped them come up with uh, the dimensions for this uh, for this particular bar based on my teeny tiny rail that I've got. This is one inch scale rail that I'm using. It's five eighths of an inch tall or deep, however you want to call it. And I was dealing with some wide gauge areas this afternoon when I came upon a couple of rail joints that are just really too far gone. So I'll be replacing those today. We got quite a bit of wind today. And the uh, threads on these, uh, these little screws here, by the way, are, they're really buggered up. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get these out of here. The heads are buggered up probably worse than the threads. Well, let's see if I can get this out of here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what we can do. It is possible I might get this one undone without breaking it or cutting it or having to grind it off. The screws are really bent up, so they're going to be coming out. Can't really get a full turn on them with what I've got for equipment. And that ends up part of the ballast. I don't think this joint bar is going to be salvageable. Although it might be, I might be able to hammer it back into shape. We'll see. The screws are definitely not salvageable. So I'll just hold the, the screw head still while I undo the nut off the other end. Sorry you can't see the action, but well, there's only so much I can do with just, uh, just me. No extra cameraman or anything like that. But I'll give you the best I can. sure is whipping around. I do have a tree that's kind of leaning over me so I'm feeling kind of like a long-tailed cat in a room full of rockers. That tree might come down. It might come down all on its own. that out of there. There we go. That is bent up pretty good. Bend those back later. I think, you know what, I think right now I'm going to use uh, fresh joint bars for this, for this joint. That also means I'm going to have to run back to the shop 
and get some of that hardware that was donated back in the winter time. All right, we've got four joint bars right there. I'll be right back. All right. Don't have much battery left, so I'm gonna have to make this quick. So we have Phillips head screws. That's good. So I'll take my Phillips screwdriver. pair of pliers right here, put everything else back in the box. I'll probably have to replace this rail at some point too, but uh, not today. Today we're just fixing the rail joint. We'll uh, deal with the rail at another time. So. one out and hopefully this video I can give you a good view of how I do this hopefully it's not an easy thing to give you a good view of so let's just squeeze all that together get some washers out here Grab some lock nuts. And let's see what we can do. So, grab a washer here. And I slide that on right there. And I'll grab one of these. nuts, nylock nuts, start screwing that in, just hold that for now. So, do something on the back side here too. Lost a washer. Got it back. Good. Okay. That one there, and that one over there. I'm just going to start these nuts on the back side here. They're not easy to grip, they're really, really slippery. Washer. Let's get that on there. And the nylon lock nut. Stick that there. And at least start it anyway. What I should do. Get a socket driver out here for whatever size these are. I should probably check. I ran to the store. I got me one of these. Oh, that's much better. 
back it off just a little bit. Not super tight. But just tight enough. of the screw to be able to spin a little bit the head of the machine screw and hopefully by doing that the screws won't won't uh, snap in half or bend or break or anything like that in the future well let's see what do we got here there we go. That's better. All right, that joint's back together. I got some more joints to do, like this one right here. Let's get the joint bars on it. Grab the hardware and put it all together. And let's see, I've got a piece of rail coming undone there. There. Yeah, whoever thought that Zeron rail nippers would be useful on seven and a half or seven and a quarter inch gauge. Whatever we want to call this today. The equipment is seven and a quarter. The track is seven and a half. What would you call it? Seven point X, right? This thing here was a good purchase, I gotta say. Went over to everybody's favorite cheap tool store. And picked up one of those. Had to pick up a whole set. But yeah, now it matches the, the pliers. Which I probably won't be using as much now. Oh well. All right, so now the joints are back together. Let's work on the gauge issue. Let's gauge the issue. I'm gonna have to loosen this up and uh, do a little adjustment in here. Let's uh, go back a little bit. Let's lock this in place.
Yeah, what do you think, buddy? Passes inspection? You're just looking for mice, huh? My track assistant. Right, Batman? Hey, come here. Yeah. Good boy. It's good to have a track assistant. Well, don't knock the camera down. Well, there we go. That's our two rail joints freshened up. The rails aren't in very good shape, but well, one thing at a time, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And uh, if it deserved it, give it a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right there. And uh, if you feel extra generous, you can go to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad and you can uh, support us via Patreon and help us uh, on these projects like this. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.